Hey guys, welcome back to Local Coma. Today we are going to take a look at a product from one of my favorite gaming companies, Asus, which is the Asus Republic of Gamers Spotlight. It's a cosmetic item for your gaming PC. Now the package itself looks pretty good. On the front we have the Spotlight in a mix of gloss and matte finishes. Then on the top we have the Asus Eye we have the name of the product and then on the bottom we have a high brightness beam USB connection and magnetic attachment listed as being what comes in the box so let's go ahead and pop this open and see exactly what that is there's nothing in the lid so we get to the spotlight itself on top and then down in the box we have the rest of the cabling so it's just passed through the cable does seem a little bit thin. And then we have our instruction manual. Which I'm not expecting it to be too crazy complicated, but let's go ahead and take a look at this really quick before we get it hooked up. Have all the standard languages. But this is the one that we want. So it's got a coin screw, magnetic base, USB connector. Connect USB connector to USB of your device. Uh-huh. So standard information here. It shouldn't be too complicated to figure out how to get this set up. And then it does show that the magnet is on the stand itself. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our spotlight. This is actually a, a pretty nice heavy piece it's got the uh, ROG on the side there. And then we have a little Republic of Gamers kind of holographic looking thing around the lens. And then we have the little Asus ROG logo on the side again for the, uh, the owl, so to speak. And then we have our coin screw up top that is going to let us readjust the angle of the lens. So the magnet's actually covered over with this little rubber thing, uh, but it's gonna be good for both surface protection so that we're not sticking the magnet directly on something, and also to make sure that if we don't use this on a metal surface that it's not gonna slide too much. Now, my one concern thus far is the cable feels a little bit maybe too thin but it's not horribly bad and that'll also be helpful because we're gonna have to figure out how to route that cable so the cable leads down to this box where I'm guessing some of the hardware to interact with the aura software is so we'll try that out in a little bit just to see how it works but first we're gonna go ahead and just hook this up using a USB power supply just because I want to see out of the box how we look versus being connected to the computer I took the first couple of pictures with the lights both on and off, having it sit on top of my monitor so you could see what kind of projection you would get from that distance. It's definitely a lot more faded with the lights on than it is with them off, but it doesn't look horrible. Considering the spotlight only costs about $30 to begin with, it's exceptionally well made. The externals are 100% metal, from what I can tell, with the exception of the lens and the cable. The main concern that I have at this point is actually internal. As cool as the projection looks, it's extremely hard to find some place to put it if it doesn't work on your monitor. And even if it does fit on top of your monitor like it does with mine, I'm still risking it falling off because of how thin the bezels on my monitor are. Anywhere else that I try to put it, I either end up blocking the image or having it be too far away from my computer to actually plug it in. Again, I understand this only costs $30 to begin with, but I would like to see Asus maybe put a little more work into lengthening the cable or making it so that the projector has a slightly stronger beam or can be magnified. Then again, let's go ahead and take a step back from everything I just said. If you were to increase the brightness of the light, 
you would probably have to either A, increase the size, or B, increase the price, which means that you would end up with an inconveniently expensive or inconveniently large spotlight that you would then have an even harder time trying to place. Now, not to harp on the point about the price, but again, it is $30, which is a very good price for what you get. Personally, I think this is worth $50 to $60 at the low end, just off of build quality alone. So, looking at the product as is, this is not really meant to be used in a bright environment. And if you're like me, and try to run it from across your room, it's probably going to have some loss of brightness. That's just the way these things go. A lot of gaming environments are really not that bright. And this is designed for those people. When I turn off most of my lights and just use my lamp, which frankly is the majority of the time the only source of light I'm using anyway, it actually looks pretty good, even projected from my desk to the opposite wall. When I activated the software, I did discover that it is at maximum brightness, so no, it does not get brighter than this, whether you have it plugged into something else or you have it plugged into the actual software and the computer, but it's not really that big of a deal. Just as with any other Asus product that you can use with the Aura software, you can choose to have a static color image, or you can decide to make it be something a little more exciting, or even sync it up with your own music. There are a lot of different light colors and patterns, and I was pleased to see that you weren't restricted to just the red spotlight, even though that's what I'll personally be using in my setup. This is just one more way in which Asus showed a nice attention to detail, allowing their users to make their products their own and further customize their gaming setup. So in conclusion, Asus has come up with a really nice cosmetic item that can enhance your gaming layout without having to break the bank. At $30, this feels like a steal, and I would absolutely recommend picking this up if you're looking for something to add a little light and color to your setup. Well guys, I really hope that this helped you decide whether or not you had an interest in purchasing this. If so, please leave a like rating, and any subscribers would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.